Hi, I'm Dr. Carpentier. Today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about how you can consciously modify the way you experience pain. Pain isn't something that just happens. Pain is actually an experience. There's the experience of the acute injury where you hit your finger with the hammer. Then there's the emotional experience of, ow, I just hit myself with a hammer. It's this emotional experience of pain that I'd like to discuss a little bit more in detail. There are lots of examples in the world today about how people can control their pain. We've all seen the image of the Swami who lies down on a bed of nails or who walks across a bed of hot coals and is seemingly uninjured. Now some of this can be explained by the physics of the activity, but it's also important to recognize that you do have control over the pain experience, that you can change the way you respond to pain by actively deciding to make those changes. For the longest time, it appeared magical that the Swami could walk on hot coals. But now, with the advent of functional magnetic resonance imaging or with PET scanning, we can actually take a peek inside the brain and see what's happening. We're able to see what portions of the brain are chemically active or metabolically active, and we can see that with changes in the way we think, we can also change the active portions of our brain. A painful brain on an MRI scanner or a PET scanner looks pretty similar from one to another. And when we do things to impact the pain, such as provide medications, we can actually see the changes in the scanner. What we've learned with these techniques is that you have a lot of power over how you experience pain. If you dwell on your pain, if you get angry about your pain, if you spend a lot of time thinking about how unfair life is, that it has left you with this particular problem, if you concentrate on the idea that everything you do is only going to make things worse, then it will make it worse. The opposite is also true. If you concentrate on the positive things in life, if you work to actively think about happiness rather than sadness, we can see the chemical and metabolic changes in your brain. We can actually see the intensity of the pain being turned down. So I encourage you to think about these sorts of things the next time your pain is really severe. Do something to change your situation. Go watch a movie, read a book, go out and get some exercise. It's true, some of these things may be beyond your capability right now, but you can start slowly and you can start increasing your level of activity. And doing so will make a big difference in the way that you feel. And we're not just talking about happy thoughts here. We're talking about real changes in the way the brain functions and how it interprets the painful signals that are being transmitted. You do have the control to change your painful experience. A lot of it can be considered just mind over matter. Sometimes we use things like medications to help change the brain. But what's more important is teaching the individual that they can impact their pain experience, that they can learn techniques that they can do on their own, which will actually change the way the brain functions and relieve the pain and suffering. Without the requirement of doctors and medications or surgeries or anything else that people consider an unpleasant part of going to the doctor. So you may find yourself saying, look, if I could change my pain, I would, but clearly it's beyond me. And I'm here to tell you that it's not. We know, it's been scientifically proven that we can alter the way we feel pain simply by changing the way we think about it. Learning to change the way we think about pain can be difficult, but it is possible. Again, I'm Dr. Carpentier. I think it's really important to understand how much control you actually do have over your pain. And I hope you're feeling better soon.